Dr. Lawson, what is the gospel? Well, the gospel is that Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture, that He was buried, and that He was raised from the dead. Um, is 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. So the heart of the gospel is Jesus Christ Himself, uh, the person and work of Christ, um, the sin-bearing work of Christ as well as the perfection of His life that is imputed to those who believe. Um, I think out of the Reformation came the great solas, and the three in the middle, sola fide, sola gratia, solas Christos, really is the heart of the gospel, that salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Uh, that really is um, the synopsis in its most succinct form of what the gospel is. The word gospel, euangelion, means good news, and so it presupposes that there is bad news. There, there is no good news unless you first know the bad news, and that's where Romans starts in Romans 1.18, and so uh, the gospel does include uh, a message about sin, and sin um, is, you know, any want of conformity to the law of God. It's, it is a transgression. But the wages of sin is death. The soul that sins, it shall surely die. And so there must be the understanding in the gospel that I am under divine judgment, I am under wrath, that my sins have offended a holy God, I am separated from God, and there is nothing that I can do in and of myself to remove the pollution uh, and the condemnation of that sin, and that my only hope is found in Jesus Christ who died upon the cross for my sins. And so that really is the heart of the saving message of the gospel. I mean, we can extend out and add other, you know, aspects, you know, the virgin birth of Christ, His sinless life, His substitutionary death, His bodily resurrection, His present uh, intercession in heaven and soon return. All of that is, is interwoven um, as to which Christ we call upon and believe. And in Galatians 1, it talks about if any man preach another gospel. So there is another gospel that is a gospel of, that is corrupted by the addition of human works to my salvation. Everything that R.C. and John just said about the Roman Catholic Church, that is another gospel. It, it is a, a damnable gospel. Um, it is a bridge that doesn't get you to the other side. It, it is, uh, um, it is to, to lay hold of a, of a log that will not save you uh, as you're drowning. And so there is only one true saving gospel, and it is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And Rome would say grace and. They would say faith and and they would say, Christ and. And the Reformers, true to Scripture, took out the word and and added the word alone, sola. And so that, that really frames or puts a, a picture or frame around the essence of the gospel of Christ. And so any addition of human works, human merit, human goodness, religiosity, um, is a corruption of, of the gospel. Uh, salvation is not a reward for the righteous, it's a gift for the guilty. And the clarity of the Christ whom we preach is critically important. Dr. MacArthur yesterday preached Isaiah 53, and that was one of the clearest presentations that we would ever hear of the substitutionary death of Christ. That's at the very heart of the gospel of Christ. So. I would say that in summary form is the gospel, and then I think the five doctrines of grace really help bring more clearly into focus the saving work of God in the gospel.